This is Space Rogue for the Hacker News Network, and this is H&N Cash for the second week of June 2010. Our top story this week, a simple flaw on the AT&T website allowed researchers at GOATC Security to recover the email addresses of about 114,000 iPad owners. The AT&T website was configured to return the user email address when presented with an ICC IDs, basically a unique identifier from an iPad. GOATC Security was able to basically guess 114,000 of these ICC IDs, allowing them to collect email addresses. That's it. Just email addresses. No data was taken from individual iPads, and no one broke into or attacked anything at Apple. Just a simple script, hitting a website, and collecting information. Of course, now the FBI has opened an investigation into the matter. Over what? A leaked email address? Come on. This is really not that big of a deal. Granted, it is embarrassing, but it's just an email address. If it wasn't for the fact that this involved Apple and iPads, the press would hardly even mention it. How do we know? Because the same exact thing recently happened to a company called Digital River. Digital River lost the personal data of 200,000 people, and not just emails as with AT&T, but also names, addresses, and visited websites. According to Digital River, someone executed a quote, highly unusual search against its online database. Basically, the same exact thing GOATC Security did against AT&T. The press has hardly said a peep about this incident, probably because it doesn't involve Apple or the iPad. One difference is that the person who collected the information from Digital River didn't release it to the press. No, he tried to sell it, and Digital River promptly sued him. 